Hi, I'm Wanda from Go Laser Go, and today we're going to be engraving on a piece of denim with our Xtool D1, and I'm using Lightburn for this project. So I just come up to File, click on that, and I'm going to load in this SVG, and when I click on that, it gets loaded into the software, and you can see it there on the screen. I'm going to change the size to 6 uh, inches in width, and I'm going to make it 5 inches in height. Then I'm going to come over here to the menu, and I'm going to select Fill. And once I've done that, I just double click to open more settings. So now I'm going to go over and I'm going to change my speed to 100 and my power to 30. And then we'll just come down and press OK. Now I'm just going to adjust the laser head. So I bring down the focus lever and I rest it against the material. So it's sitting on the material and then I just tighten up the nut on the side there and then take this, the lever, the slider back up into position. So now I know that there's a right distance between my laser head and my material. So now I'm just going to select frame and to make sure that the design is going to fit on my um, material and as you can see there it didn't it was came off to the side so I did adjust it and I did a couple more runs until I got it right. So now we're going to press start and it says that the cut might be out of bounds and you just press that's okay. So there we go now we're going to start engraving on the denim and you can see what a beautiful job that this laser does. It does a really really nice job and I do love this design. This design is from Creative Fabrica and it's American Eagle with the flag in the background. Now I'm just going to wipe off the dust that, that forms. Uh, you always get a little bit of that when you're doing some engraving on denim. And you can see how lovely that is. I'm really really happy with that. So you can see on the back it hasn't burnt through the material, it's only taken that, that top layer which I do believe is the die layer. Now I'm going to make a series of these, I'm thinking I might turn them into a bag or into a cushion cover, I think they'd look really really lovely. Now if you've enjoyed this video please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.